hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl oyinda mala back with another video and in this video i'll be talking about deal breakers you should look out for in your relationship when we consider the type of partner we want in our life there are so many things that make our list and it goes from their sense of humor to the way they treat us to their looks some people want this tall dark and handsome guys everyone has some sort of pictures of who they classify as an ideal mate but just as there are specific things that we look out for in the person that we are dating there are things that we hope to never encounter now paraventure these things happen then it is usually a time for us to reconsider and reevaluate the relationship before we take it to the next level so let's jump right into it the first thing i'll be talking about is an abusive relationship when someone talks down to you or treats you poorly when you are having a disagreement you may want to reconsider the reason behind continuing the relationship like everybody gets angry at some point yeah it's something that we can't do without and sometimes we even say terrible things we don't mean the deal breaker arises however when people get nasty during every argument like every argument you get into the say nasty things about you they bring up your past experiences with the intention of hurting your feelings they call you degrading names they attack you instead of the issue they leave the issue and they face you head on saying all sorts of things some people even use this silent treatment i have a video on things you should never say to your partner you may want to check that out for more understanding it is important to note that these are signs of a potentially abusive relationship and you may want to evaluate and reevaluate the relationship before you take it to the next level. The second point I'll be talking about is when you don't share the same faith. Like truly they say opposites attract and yeah that's true. But that doesn't always mean that you make the best partners. Like if you're passionate about your faith and your spouse has an opposing faith or beliefs that upsets or angers you, it could mean that your relationship wasn't meant to be. Like if you're going to be in a relationship with someone with opposing values, you need to be mentally prepared. Like you need to be mentally prepared for it because it will take you a great deal of time to walk through how you talk about it and handle those things if you simply don't have the patience or the desire to do so it's time to walk away the third point i'll be talking about is if your partner isn't faithful like if it's cheating on you infidelity now the concept of infidelity goes way beyond just having sex with another person it goes way beyond one night stands and um, casual sex with other random persons it is more about doing something behind your partner's back with another person whether that's sex or a different type of intimacy or an emotional affair you see when they start keeping secrets from you that just means that this person doesn't really respect the relationship it means the person isn't devoted to you and it also means they place their own happiness well before yours when it comes to cheating put your foot down immediately like don't forgive and wait for the next round of heartbreak or for the next round of mistake i remember i made that mistake in one of my relationship before i got married to my husband like the guy cheated on me and <laughs> i was blindly in love that i told him that we should continue the relationship as if nothing had happened but guess what guys he cheated again so when cheating happens you must put your foot down immediately like even if you put breaking your trust and your heart aside your, your partner's cheating on you puts you at risk of depression sexually transmitted diseases and infections and embarrassment at times so 
if your partner doesn't love and respect you enough to stay faithful they sure aren't worth your time the fourth point i'll be talking about is when you don't feel good about the relationship guys you need to learn to trust your instinct like do you feel good when you're around your partner do you get anxious when you think about the relationship does your partner make you question your self-worth then if so something inside of you is probably screaming that this relationship is not right if your gut is telling you something is off in your relationship then there probably is it's if it doesn't feel right it's definitely not right if we only follow our instincts so many of us will not be in some mess of a relationship let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video about guts and instincts you should not ignore like it's important that we don't ignore our guts and instincts because they may just be our saving grace on so many occasions the fifth point i'm talking about is if your communication is whack like do you feel you and your spouse are always arguing yeah sure even happy couples argue but constantly arguing with your partner is one of the relationship deal breakers because it shows that you guys have poor communication skills communication is everything when it comes to a healthy happy relationship couples need to be able to talk to each other in order to build empathy resolve conflicts and get closer this means addressing problems as they arise and not letting them seize or turn into a huge fight down the line so guys don't let get into the habit of collecting red flags or deal breakers in our relationship like you only need one if he has done one of all these or any of these like it's time to put your foot down and reevaluate the relationship like if you are planning to get married to this partner of yours I would like to let you know that forever is a very long time to be unhappy. So if your spouse is abusive, is controlling, is unfaithful, it's time to call it quits. And yeah, I get it, of course. It's going to be very difficult. It's it's going to be a very hard decision to make. But there, your future self is going to thank you when you found someone who is better than your current partner. So guys, don't forget to hit the like button, comment and share this video if you feel it's going to be of help to another person. And I'll see you in my next video.